Yo guys, um, so this is just an update on the quick latches. Um, as you guys know, I have sent it out to a welder, but then after this welded, uh, I noticed that there was like a few gaps. Like it was welded like on certain spots, but then I just sent a picture to Dane and he said that we should actually weld the hole close completely because um, if we do. Uh, painted or if we do bond it uh, the bond might just crack because of the gaps so I basically uh, sent it back uh, the bootlet back to the the welder um, however it's been two weeks now and I still didn't get it back yet so we're just going to see if it's available now uh, hopefully it is is it ready? okay you can now call it down to okay quiet Shut bro. Okay, so uh, randomly I just found uh, the wildest uh, worker or son. He just mentioned that it is ready. Um, I actually was on the phone with the wild as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go to see um, if it is the way it should be. And then if it is, I'll just uh, pick it up. And then I'm going to put it back onto the car because there is uh, a, a hookup today. I think it's a. The NV, NV crew hook up, so I might just go check that out. I think it's at N1 City. Um, yeah, but I mean, it is going to be welded and it's going to be visible, so I might just get one of the stickers as well. Okay, guys, I just returned from uh, the welder. This is what we basically done. I know I mentioned in the video, I'm gonna while it completely closed this is actually what i meant by completely closed it was tacked over here and over here so dana suggested we while the whole thing closed so that it's basically um sturdy and it won't basically crack um the while it did use a thicker metal so we did not actually use um this plate over here and then also i just got the uh, these black uh, stickers just to cover it over here uh, while actually getting uh, this Dane has mentioned that we are going to take the bootlet tomorrow um, for basically for um, color match. So like I mentioned, I'm going to only paint this side. Um, what I also wanted to do is, I might just cut this out in the video because I kind of wanted to keep it a secret. It's not a big difference, but seeing that we are going to spray this over here, I was thinking about maybe spraying this red. I do see the original um, um, EG9 does come color coded however they leave the section black me however I am going to if I do end up spraying this uh, red I want to spray this as well and then only um, this will be clear but I want to spray this red as well and then also on the EG9 obviously get the Civic Ferio and I think it's SIR over here and then we also get the side um, garnish Civic Ferio and then also um, the door handles are also color coded that is something that I might just do in future or I might just get enough paint when I do this hopefully the colors do match and then also I've spoken to a friend of mine um, I have mentioned him in the vlog uh, D-Tune Kerwin uh, me and him have spoken with regarding side skirts uh, I see a lot of guys actually doing um, the whole side skirt, um, I think it's called PSI side skirt. So I do, I have thought of doing it uh, many years ago, but I didn't get to it. So that is um, something that I might just do um, on my car as well. So guys, please stay tuned for that. Uh, there is also a diffuser that I have created uh, two, three years ago. I will show you guys that in a later stage. It is a prototype, it was just basically a template um, but I am thinking of actually creating it and putting it into, would I say, production or something to that effect. So yeah, um, I might just do that and have that fitted because it does kind of seem really empty at the bottom. So it will just fold it up as well and create downforce um, when I do go to the track again. So I'm just going to put these stickers on. Um, the main reason for actually putting the stickers on is because of um the nv us uh, event happening tonight so basically the stickers will only be on for one day and then it goes off to um 
paint match and then when it does come back from um, the paint match um, we'll obviously um, close it up onto it and then obviously have it sprayed as well So this is what it looks like for now. I uh, know it's, it's actually kind of crooked over here. Uh, what happened here was I should have actually asked him to make the hole in the middle so that the circle is actually even here. Uh, this is this side and this side. As you can see, it's also not so even on this side. A few bubbles. And like I mentioned, uh, the black is only for tonight basically because of the event. Um, tomorrow we are sending away the bootlet to have uh, the paint matched and then we're gonna spray um, obviously this clothes so that looks much better I might still run with uh, the black because like I mentioned before it does kind of help with um, water whatever the case may be I do not drive this car in the rain so that doesn't really matter but you never know so yeah that's a short update um, I'll see if I can get a few videos of tonight's event uh, and I hope to see you guys there
Okay guys, so I just returned from um, NVS um, hookup or chill and meet. Um, yeah, so got a bit of raucous there. It, it did mention or they did mention that we shouldn't ref and then a lot of guys ended up refing. Uh, they put up a show there actually. But good thing is that the cops didn't really um, give us any trouble. Um, usually they take people's licenses. I don't know how it is in other countries but in Cape Town mainly um, if you do not have a front plate or your car is lowered you basically uh, your license this gets taken from you so yeah I know in in I think in certain areas of America if your exhaust is uh, too loud you also get a fine but um, like I said if we even if our cars are loaded anything is altered on your car your car's licenses get 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 suspended which means you would then have to lift the car and then basically take it for roadworthy again um but yeah there wasn't any trouble from um the cop side um i think i left and there was still a few cars there um you guys might be thinking oh, i'm not sitting in my car i did put um park the car in its regular spot and put its cover on as well as the lighting is pretty bad there because of the banner that kind of shines so i just thought i'd come sit here and explain to you guys um i'll give you the outro basically on today's event i did come there late as well and then also um the silver ek which is my cousins we usually drive um home together and then we usually just like race against each other it was kind of fun um the result is basically the same i would say our cars are evenly matched um however he did have a passenger and i obviously don't have any rear seats but yeah our cars are evenly matched and with this previous car as well um but yeah i uh, only got a few videos for you guys um hope you guys do enjoy the content see you guys next time peace